Hello, I'm Jennifer Shahadi with Chess Life Online. And I'm Macaulay Peterson with ICC Chess FM. We start today round five with our headline game, number one seed Gata Kamsky against number two seed Hikaru Nakamura. These two players haven't met in an over-the-board match since 2004, but as we learned today, they have played literally hundreds of blitz games on the Internet Chess Club. One ICC listener estimated that Nakamura was about plus three, a statistic that Nakamura didn't seem to be too happy with. Well, I don't know where these stats are coming from because um, I don't know if it's from one account or both accounts. I mean, he's, he's used at least two accounts on several occasions. I w I'm surprised that it's saying I'm only plus three against him because I'm pretty sure there were at least one or two times when I beat him by at least where I scored something like 10, 11 out of, 10, 10 or 11 out of 15, for instance. Um, I know there was one time when he was using one of his accounts that I beat him, eight, I think, 18 and a half out of 20. So um, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where those stats are coming from exactly. The game today was a complicated Grunfeld in which Kamsky was on top for most of the game. But in the end, it was Nakamura who was looking for more than a perpetual. Well, I felt like somewhere around there, right at the end, there had to be, there ha it felt like there was something for me. But I just couldn't seem to find it or else there is nothing. But it, I just had a gut feeling that there should be something there. Moving on, we're down to two leaders. Grandmaster Rouge and Akobian survived a queen sacrifice from Jan Elfest. Now, was this a stroke of brilliance or desperation on Jan's part? Well, it was probably the best try at that point, and it was inspired, but Verusian Akobian certainly was not rattled. Just try to stay calm and just believe that you have some defensive resources. I mean, he sacrificed because he didn't have anything uh, better, I think, because otherwise he just uh, down upon at least with no compensation. So he tried to maybe create something, but I think with the precise defense, uh, it's just insufficient. If, when you want to win, you have to take some risk. Grandmaster elect Robert Hess continues to impress with a very nice win over Grandmaster Malikset Kachian. Hess played this very nice move, knight to d5 check, busting Black's king open, and forcing material gains. Meanwhile, defending champ Yuri Shulman kept pace with Akobian, posting a win of his own over Josh Friedel. In the final position, bishop d3 check uh, picks up the loose bishop on h4 in the end of the combination. So Friedel resigned, and Schulman moves on to face Akobian in their head-to-head -head matchup in round six. Yes, we're past the halfway mark now, so every round ups the ante. Join us tomorrow for round six of the 2009 U.S. Chess Championship. And of course, we'll have live coverage with Grandmaster Emil Sotovsky and Jennifer Shahadi on uschesschamps.com.